what is up guys so this is admor and we are here to talk about how we will be able to set up a Kamatera server guide on how you would be able to use Kamatera virtual private server um, to use in our daily tasks depending on what the clients would like us to do so the first things first that we need to discuss is we would like to know what is Kamatera exactly and how it would help us with our daily tasks All right so Kamatera offers the best VPS hosting services it's a full-on service for business that needs raw computing power and maximum versatility for an affordable price. Now you would be able to enjoy the benefits of having a dedicated server without having to invest in physical computing equipment. So right here you would be able to see the, uh, the main uh, website for Kamatera. Okay. And what they actually provide us is a lot of different cloud private networks, um, block storage servers, even firewalls and um, managed cloud system. So it's not only VPS, I mean a virtual private uh, server that they provide a lot of things that requires uh, cloud um, storage to servers, even to um, firewalls. Right, so when we talk about VPS hosting, what is it really about? So it is a superior hosting service that matches the versatility of dedicated servers with the portability of shared servers, meaning um, we would be able to get a lot of virtual servers or virtual computers on our end. It would not be as much or it wouldn't cost as much as like a physical hardware itself. So what we are aiming here is we would be able to use their cloud servers like a regular server and it would be the same as having an own computer but it's not going to be physical you'll be able to use it anywhere in the world there's also a 99.95% um, uptime, uptime guarantee which means most of the times the computers once you need to use them they will be available and you'll be able to use it as soon as possible right another thing is that there would be no hardware maintenance like if it would be a physical one you would be able to do it yourself or have an IT do it for you and as well they also offer simple backup and monitoring when it comes to your a server or your own virtual private computer so the Kamatera cloud infrastructure is distributed across several global states um, let's say uh, Canada New York anywhere in the US even in Europe Asia and in the Middle East or Israel so there's a lot of things that we could talk about when it comes to VPS but right now we would be able to inform you that you would be able to scale as much as you can when it comes to servers there will be a lot of ways for you to increase your hardware components CPU RAM this storage and even firewalls and as well we already talked about um, that there would be an uptime guarantee that will be at least 99.95% and you would need to worry about hardware okay so in Kamatera as well you are in control of whatever you'd like to do with your own virtual private computer you can assign roles um, you'd be able to configure any server if you know how to you'd be able to remove servers without even paying a penalty so once you create a server, you would be able to remove one without any issues or whatsoever. You would be able to add a database of your choice, um, any operating system that you'd like. Um, it could be Windows, Mac, um, Ubuntu, depending on your choice. Okay, and as well, a storage would not be a problem. Um, it would be depending on your budget. So uh, when it comes to tech details, um, you would be able to get a one CPU power to 104. Um, from 256 MB of RAM to 512 gig of RAM. I mean, that's that's literally a, a lot of RAM power right there. And then you'd be able to um, set up storage from 5 gig to tens of terabytes of block storage. So there's pretty much no issues when it comes to hardware here. And you would be able to choose any operating system you want. 
so anyway we will be talking about how we would be able to register for our account and as well as to set up uh, the Kamatera itself which is the part two out of four that we will be making right now and it will be a guide on how we would be able to register our account on Kamatera so this is the second part out of four that we are currently going to make and it's going to be about setting up or signing up a, uh, using Kamatera on their platform all right so the first thing that we need to do is that we need to make sure that we are logged in or we are on their website so that would be www.kamatera.com and you would be routed to this web page here so you have two options here once you already know or did your research about Kamatera all you need to do is to either hit free sign up here on the top right hand side of the page or you can definitely start your 30 day free trial um, just by pressing the green button on the center okay so once we click on that one it would provide you with this page here and you just need to enter your email and the password of your choice right, make sure that your email is a, a legit one something that you could access anytime since it would be the one that's going to be used um, when it comes to um, getting your account back in case there will be problems with the password and whatnot now once you enter your email and the password that you choose you can hit go ahead and click on go and after that one there would be an email validation or an email verification code that would be sent directly to your email account that was used now once you would be able to get the email validation code um, you can go ahead and click on the validation email link or if nothing arrives on your end you can definitely hit on resend validation link and another email will be sent to your account now once you have done click on the email validation link you would be redirected to a different browser i mean on a different link and you will be able to see this page here so you are actually logged into your own Kamatera account but it's not yet fully set up so the first thing that we need to do is set up our billing and our profile as well so you would be able to see here that there's a check mark on the account creation and we are on the stage of billing so you just need to hit on add billing profile once you're done you need to make sure that you have Click, I mean place your first name and your last name here your full address city zip code the country that you're currently in your phone number okay once you're done with that you just need to hit on next and you would be able to be routed to this page and you would be able to see that it's going to be asking for your phone number that you're currently using right now since it will be sending a two-factor authentication code on that and you would be able to get it on your phone so just make sure that you place in the correct number and just hit on send okay and you would be able to see here the phone verification was successful since i was able to place in there the verification code okay just to remind you you'd be able to change that number anytime you would like just hit on change number and you would be able to do so so after that one just hit on next and you would be able to see this page this is the billing part where you would be able um, to enter your credit card information right so just make sure that you would be placing this promo code uh, most of the times it would be um, there already but in case if it's not there you can definitely hit on the one month 300 promo code okay so that would be a 30 day free usage one cloud server right so that's going to be a thousand gigabytes worth of um, block storage and then you would be able to use as well 1000 gig worth of internet traffic so once you're done placing in your card name and your card number in the exp expiration code the year and the cvv of your card you just need to hit on finish and you're good to go so once you're done with um, doing that it's either gonna log you out or you just need to 
um, check or hit on refresh and it would route you to this page and there you go you have your own Kamaterra account and you have already been verified meaning you would be able to create or make your own cloud server depending on your needs all right so this is just a tutorial on how we'd be able to create the Kamaterra account um the third part would be how we would be able to set up the server and we are hoping that you guys would go ahead and check it out okay so if you have any questions for me or my team just send us a message and we'll get back to you as soon as possible and we are here to talk about Kamatera server and how we would be able to set it up so this is going to be the third part out of four that we are currently making right now and it's going to be a quick guide or a basic guide on how we would be able to set up our own server using Kamatera so the first things first that we need to do is we need to make sure that we are logged into our Kamatera account. So we just have to log into our user account and head on the website I'm going to www.kamatera.com. Once we are there, hit on log in button on the upper right hand side of the screen. Okay, so this small pop up would come out and you would be able to place in here your user ID and your password. Once that's done, just hit on log in and you would be able to see your Kamatera platform. All you need to do right here is click on my cloud and once you hit on servers, you would be able to see all the servers that you have created in the past if you have done so. And you will be able to see here as well the options on if you'd like to start your server or turn it off as of now the servers here on this example are currently shut off you would be able to see here a square button if it's off and a triangle green button like a play button if it's currently turned on so what we are aiming here to do is we are trying to create a server so there would be two options for you to do so okay you can either create a server by clicking this button, the green button on the bottom part of the page, or you can definitely just hit on create new server on the upper left hand side of the screen. Okay, so once we do that, you would be routed here on this page, right? So depending on which zone you would choose, you would be able to create a different um, area or geographical location for your server. You would be able to place it in Asia, North America, Europe, or in the Middle East. Right, for this example, um, we are currently going to make a Europe account. Right, so we, we are currently using London for now. So just hit on Europe and then hit on London. And the next thing that we would be um, choosing is which operating system we would be using. So uh, since this is going to be an example, um, we are just going to make the normal Windows um, operating system. So once we're done hitting on Windows, it would let, let you choose either you would be installing the Windows 8.1 or the Windows 10. Right. So based, um, personally for my experience, it would be best to choose the Windows 8.1 since it would be faster for your um, server for the settings that we're currently going to make since Windows 10 would really take up space and it would be a bit slower for different reasons but if you're currently going to use the server as um, for new applications okay so it would be best if you use Windows 10 but for now um, since we are going to use this for drop shipping and for um, different client needs um, it's okay to use Windows 10 for now so this is a build or a tech um, build that we are going to be using. This is going to be the cheapest one that we could find, but it would still work. All right. So after we are done with choosing the Windows 8 desktop, okay, just scroll down and you'd be able to see the settings right here. Okay. So you'd be able to, you'd be freely to choose whatever you want. You can experiment. Okay. So which type? Is it a general? Is it a dedicated server? Okay. So um, the first thing that we are going to choose, it's going to be general. It's going to be the basic type. Okay. How many CPUs would you need per computer? I would only be choosing one since we will only be using a browser for this one. Okay. The next thing is RAM. So we tried using the one gig RAM for 
um, our different servers but we found out that um, the longer you would be using it everything would be slower okay so uh, two gig of ram would be okay um just to remind you this is going to be the cheapest one that we would be able to get out of kamatera so and again this is just an example you'd be able to choose any of this one and then for the ssd we are just going to be using the 30 um, gigabytes ssd and that's going to be i'm um, just going to make our computer a bit faster and you also have options to add on any ssd cards or you could turn on daily backup or managed hosting so there would be charges for everything here so you have to make sure that you'd be needing them if you'd like to add them up so the last part here is that you would be able to choose if you'd like to use your server in advanced mode okay and if your internet connections would be a public internet connection or if you have your own private local network and for this as well you'd be able to create your own password of the server of your choosing and as well as the name of the server that you'd like to so once that's done the last thing that you need to make sure that you choose i mean that you pick out and you think you need to think about it real good is if you'd like to get billed monthly or is it going to be an hourly billing cycle okay based on my experience it's best that you'd be you um build hourly since it would cost you way way less all right so when you would be choosing hourly it would only affect if your server is online and if you're not going to use it you can definitely just sh shut it off so that way it wouldn't be as much as being billed monthly you can definitely save using your kamatera server if you'd be using um, hourly billing cycle after you're done creating the server it would show up here on the task queue on the bottom part of the screen and once it is done it would show up here just like your other servers so once again this is just the basics on how we would be able to create a server on kamatera we will be also providing you different insights and ways on how to we would be able to use this but for now this is it for this tutorial on how to create servers in kamatera and if you guys have any question just um send us a message and we'll get back to you so once again this is edmar and if you got any question hit us up and you guys have a wonderful day